This is my latest rod build. I call it the Franken bumper pole. It's basically a pole for bumping catfish on rivers and then also I'll use it for uh, fishing large spoons. But it is an inexpensive build I did. I used old scrap parts that I had and busted poles and everything and pieced this thing together and that's why I call it Frankenstein. A couple of unique features that I'm proud of. Um, I did some paracord wrap on the handle used a 300 series Shimano reel I had and then I did the spiral wrap on the guides um, I fished with a lake trout guide who used his pole that had a spiral wrap on it I thought that was pretty cool so I thought I'd try it for bumping anyway if you want to see the build stick around Okay, here's a prototype bumping pole that I had made playing around with different handle lengths. It's a Bass Pro musky pole. It's about a $35 to $50 pole. Worked pretty good for bumping, but I'm going to make it a little bit better um, with some scrap pieces I had around the house and put new eyelets on it and spline it correctly. This is a pole I'm going to salvage the handle off of. It's a shattered cat bumping rod that I broke. Um, not the pole's fault, just mine doing something stupid. Anyway, I'm going to hack salt right here and then right there, and then it'll be easier once I heat the handle up to pull it off. Then there's my salvaged handle I'm going to use. Here I'm just removing the cork off the old handle. Just kind of got to work with it. Okay, to remove this old handle from the blank I'm going to use, I put light cuts. Got to be real careful not to cut into the blank. It's kind of in a spiral pattern. And then I'm just prying it off of there like that. It takes forever. I got everything taken off of the blank. Now I'm just cleaning it up a little further with a dull knife, making it work smooth. I'm going to cover all this up so it doesn't matter, but I don't want it to be lumpy. Okay, now I'm going to set the position of my reel seat. And I want to have a pretty good handle on there where I can hold it right about here, and then also right about here, and then also my hole put it all the way against my arm so the handle is a little bit longer than it was was stock that's why i had that extension on it before so just... okay now i'm going to find the spline of the rod i'm going to find it's nat where it naturally wants to bend and i got a piece of tape on there just where i can see looks like actually when that tapes straight down is the spline bam it just pops right in there so i'm going to mark the top of this that's going to be the top of my rod. And that way when I'm fighting a fish, it's in its natural bend. Okay, now I'm going to epoxy on the reel seat. See my marks where, where it goes. Let's put a bunch of this on there. It fits, real, it fits pretty tight, so I don't have to build up the rod at all. Slide it down. Remember, I got my spline mark on there. And I want the top of the reel splined up, sliding it down to my bottom mark and turning it to make sure the glue smears evenly. Okay, the next step is I'm going to size and order my guides specific for this reel and this pole. So I want to know the dimension of the top of the blank to the center of where the line comes off the reel. And then also another part of it is I want to know basically the width of the spool. And I'll take those measurements and order my guides based upon that. Now I'm designing the guide spacing, get some charts off of the internet and using my measurements and coming up with a layout for my guides. 
I'm going to put a little bit of a handle on here and I changed my mind. I was going to do it just in rope, but I wanted something a little bit more sensitive. So I cut a section out of this old pole that I had and I'm going to slide it up and glue it on there and then put rubber over the top of it for the handle instead of using rope. I also added a handle up front like I did in the back. That way it'd be a little bit more sensitive than just wrapping rope around there. Here's the grips. Okay, I've been struggling here with the butt cap. Um, I took it off a couple times, ended up breaking it. So I my busted shatter cat rod that I took the parts off of. And again, I'm the one that broke it. It was a great pole, it was totally my fault. Nothing wrong with the pole, but anyway, I'm using the cap off of it. It's a little rough, but I'm going to put shrink wrap over the top of it. So just gluing it on now. And then in a minute, I'll shrink wrap it. I changed my mind a few times on the handle and ended up adding uh, some paracord to it. I kind of like the look of that. I started to uh, put, put a couple eyelets on there too to form a base that'll help me line up the other ones because I'm going to get a little creative. So I went ahead and finished them. <laughs> 